And we have returned to Smells Like 90s Rock, and DJ Poor has arrived. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I, I've got to crank my microphone up now, too, because I, list, I played back last week's show, and you could barely hear me through the whole thing. I could hear you fine, because you're, you're all up because on... Because I'm all up on the mic You're like all this. up in the grill now, but uh, yeah, I can't hear myself now, so great. Strange. Who knows? But anyway, no. Prince died. Yeah, exactly. We, gotta, we, just, we, we, can't, just gotta, we cannot ignore yeah. the elephant in the room. Uh, yeah, Prince died yesterday, or two days ago now. It, it really has been a sucky-ass week. Uh, everybody dying. We, we, we lost with a Doris Roberts. Then on the same day... Just Who's out, Doris Roberts? She played uh, Marie on Everybody Loves Raymond. You know, Raymond I, never, I was never really like a big fan of the show, well, she was to a, be honest. She was one of those beloved... Uh, oh, wait, oh wait, I do I do remember the one scene where oh, she's like, I'm not, just, I'm not just some trophy wife. Oh, yeah. And the guy's like, what contest, contest in hell did I win? Yeah, yeah I've that seen was pretty that funny. Too. Have you, you ever watched Christmas Vacation? Oh, uh, one time, I think. Oh, you won't. Oh, is she the one? She's like, I pledge allegiance to the flag. No, 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 no. says no. that. No, that wasn't she's her. trying to say the blessing. No, that wasn't her. No, that was uh, another actress. But she was in that movie, too. Uh, but no, she she died this week. And then on the same day, hours apart, China, the wrestler. I heard about that. And yeah. then Prince dies. And then today, Patton Oswald, of all people, his wife passes away. Michelle McNamara. McNamara. And then, if, that, if all that wasn't bad enough, at 34 minutes ago tonight, I turned 27. So, I mean, that just... That, that, oh, come on, Todd. That rounded up the sadness. Yes, happy birthday to me. It happy is. birthday to you, yes, Todd. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Officially you're, 27. You're, you've got like a whole year to join the 27 Club, man. What's the 27 Club? The, the 27 Club is an exclusive club of rock stars who all died at the at age 27. of 27. Kurt so Cobain, Jimi, Jimi Hendrix, Hendrix uh, yeah. Dennis Joplin, oh my God, uh, Jim all, Morrison. They all died um, at 27, didn't they? One, one of the... Uh, Guitar players for the Rolling Stones, the original one. The original one. I can't, I can't remember his name. Brian either. Jones. Right, and didn't like didn't uh, oh what's his name? There's a long Sid list. Sid Vicious though. didn't he die at 27? I don't think so. No, he was. I think he might have been younger. Maybe yeah, a little. Yeah, probably younger. But yeah. um, like those are the biggest ones. But mm -hmm. apparently there's there's like a list of a really really long, lengthy list of people who just who just happened to die when they were 27. They were they were usually you know they were. Their band was yeah. famous, yeah. so they didn't ne necessarily have a lot of face time. Their name may not have necessarily been that widely known, but yeah. they were still, you know, had a significant uh, presence in the limelight. I guess. Right. Got to be at twenty seven. Got to be real with you. I don't really want to join the twenty seven club. <laughs> uh, thank you though, uh, but uh, <laughs> thanks for the offer. But uh, no, no, I'll just stick to stick to all to the stress that I already have of trying to find a new home. So you know. You, you remember the last couple of weeks I've been keeping you updated on my on the mold in my house? Yes. All right, so, you know, last week it, it had a grand finale of just soaking my entire house. Uh, one week later, nothing has been done to, okay. the, to the carpet. It's dried up, but it looks horrible. It looks like somebody pissed all over the carpet. Okay. Big, huge stains. Uh, the giant fans in there trying to fan it out. I was promised that uh, carpet cleaners would be in there today. They weren't in there. Okay. So, and my house still stinks. That's why, and I was just in there a little while ago, and that's why if you, <clears throat> if you hear me doing this a lot, is because the mold got into me, and, uh, and I'm already feeling weird right now. So, <laughs> so that's where we are in my house. I've, I've essentially moved in with my girlfriend for the time being. Uh, Assert which, yourself with the front office, Todd. Oh, I, I, I'm calling the codes people on, on Monday, and they're going to assert for me, so... We're gonna good. Be, yeah. Good, oh, yeah. Todd. Oh yeah. We're not. We're not playing around anymore. Yeah. We're playing the when mold is growing in your house. Yeah. And they and the, your apartment complex has an obligation to clean it for you. Oh yeah. And they don't follow through. We're playing hardball. We're playing. Now. We're playing hard. We're playing ass hard ball. ball. Hard ass ball. That's right. So yeah, they're they're gonna get an earful as soon as I move out of that place. I am going to blast the name of this. Apartment complex. I'm not gonna all say, over Yelp. Oh yeah, all over all over this station, all over this show, all over <laughs> my podcast, the Smoking Hot Podcast, and and all over the internet. I'm obviously not gonna do it now because I don't want you knowing where I live, bitches. But uh, but well, as soon as I'm out of there, you're you're gonna know which apartment complex not to live in in Knoxville. But, okay. Uh, but there you go. But yeah, that's that's uh that's rate my apartment. Is that a thing? I think well, pretty sure it is. Something like that. It's you can there is a, a there is a, a website where you can rate apartment complexes. I know. Well, then I'll have to find I'll track that down because hell yeah, I'm going to use that <laughs> for sure. You're going to take time out of your day. Just I will to take time give these out of my day bad name. to show them who's boss. That's right. But anyway, that's 27 for me in a nutshell. <laughs> um, that's it's what's not, going on. It's 
it's not so bad. It could be worse. It could be, but, uh, you know. It's let's see. Tomorrow is my last day of my 28 of 33 day. Oh, work thank God. Then I get one day off. Uh, one day. And then I work Sleep. Monday, and then I'm off Tuesday. So, I But I, I don't. Oh, wait. My schedule is posted. I, I, I have to see if I'm angry. Do you want me to look it up right now so we can record my action reaction live on the air? Why not? Or yeah, go, keep talking. Go, go find it. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, it's been a rough week. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about on this show tonight. We'll be talking more about Prince. We're going to be playing more Prince. By the way, that song you heard right before we went to the break is not a Prince song. It's Radiohead's Creep. DJ Poor found it earlier today. Prince covered Creep. Back was it like 2008 or something? Yeah, it's been a Coachella. few Coachella in 2008. He covered uh, Radiohead's Creep. So I was like, if, if, if there was ever a perfect Prince song to play on this show, that was it. It was great. It was fantastic. It was absolutely. I liked it awesome. better than Radiohead. I did too. It was so. I, it was just so. It's just so Prince, you know. And, and really, anything Prince does is is pretty good. Well, pretty good. It's awesome. I mean, that's why we called him Prince. Two days in a row, Todd. All I have right. two days in a row off. Hey. That, is, that, Yay. that that deserves one of these. There you go. And I have two days off next week. Thank you. Thank you, God. Sweet God. There you go. Oh. Nice. Congratulations oh. on that. Oh, sweet relief. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was, Tuesday was the hardest day. I was yeah. like, I was shaking. I was so anxious. And I was just Eastern trying medicine. not to flip out on people at work. Although right. I did a few people. Oh. I, I apologized immediately. And then I just strained to keep my composure for well, the rest of the day. I'm glad you did if you were able to do 